photographers, please stop using on-camera LED lights on top of your camera. I know that they're called on-camera LED lights, but all right, I'll explain it in just a second. There's a, quite a few reasons I wanna go over why you should not be using an on-camera LED light for your work, especially if you're working with a videographer. And more than likely, if it's a good videographer, they're gonna have external lighting that both of you will benefit from. With all that said, I do wanna go over a few ways that you can use an on-camera light properly, but I also wanna go over why you should not do that either. If you're a legit photographer, you need to learn on and off camera flash. I know you probably heard this before. I'm a natural light photographer. That usually just means that I don't know how to use on camera flash or off camera flash. So I'm just gonna use natural light. Secondly, using an on camera LED light does not give you consistent lighting. It's very hard to control it. You have to keep it very still for it to work well for you. If you're just doing photos and there's nobody else around you, no other creators, photographers, videographers, I could see maybe getting away with it, but let's just not do that. Next, the subject looking right at the light can cause unflattering responses. Story time. There was an event that I was helping cover. There were other photographers, videographers there as well. It was a small stage setup, had some concert lighting pointed down towards the crowd. There was also a little bit of light going up at the stage. There was another videographer that was, you know, pointing up at the stage and you could just see Everybody that was up there literally like saying to him, please put that light away. Stop using it. It's too bright. You can see that they were completely distracted from the celebratory event that it was. So again, like you're not going to get flattering responses. It's going to bug other people. And if you're working with another photographer or videographer, they're not going to like that. As a matter of fact, us videographers hate on camera LED lights. No, I'd rather you be popping flash than using an LED light on top of your camera. Two main reasons. The first is that the light is moving around <laughs> and it causes shadows, it causes uneven light. It just looks all over the place. You can't control it, it doesn't look consistent. And then most of the time photographers that use those LED lights on top of their cameras, they're shutting it on, turning it off over and over and over again. And that just does not look good for the other person. A photographer using that a video, all I see is this light go off and on. And just like that event that I was talking about, weddings and other occasions, anytime I've encountered that, it's just, it's so hard because I have to expose my camera for what light is available and you're messing that up. What I suggest doing is like what I have over here next to me, is put it on a light stand. If you put it on a light stand, it's gonna be consistent. It doesn't move around and you can control it a whole lot more. And I promise your images are gonna look that much better. All right, so this light that I'm actually using, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on camera. I'm gonna go to my wide shot for this so I can help demonstrate a few things. But over here, I've got an aperture light. I've got another studio light up here. They both got soft boxes on it. But for three point lighting, what I do in this kind of particular setting at times is I'll have those two main lights and then I have what I call a hair light or a rim light. And it helps create separation from my black shirt, black hat, all that kind of stuff with the black background. I like a black background, I wear black all the time. But for this kind of application, I definitely need something to help separate myself from that background so I don't get washed out. The other cool thing about this is like you can move it around, you can put it towards the back, and it just helps create that separation. So I love using it for that fact. I wanna talk about this light in particular so that way you know what I'm using for the setup. This is GVM, they sent it out to me so I could talk about it with you guys. And it's an on-camera LED. I'm probably never gonna use it on my camera though. I'll use it on a light stand, I'll use it for product stuff, I'll get into that kind of stuff in a minute, but I wanna go over a few specs that I think are really cool. First of all, you can change the color temperature from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. The CRI is 97. So it's dual sided, one side has all the RGB colors, the other side has the white colors. It's compact and lightweight design. It's also very durable, it's a metal design, so it's not gonna bust up on you at all. I do wish that it did come with a case. It comes with a box that's cut out to size and things, but a, a bag, a pouch, or something like that would be nice to be able to put it to my camera bag so the thing doesn't get all scratched up or it doesn't scratch up other things. Like I said, it's got RGB on one side and bi color on the other. It goes from zero to 1% dimming. It has a Bluetooth control app. 
USB-C rechargeable battery, a detachable diffuser and honeycomb. It also has props such as police lights or party lights. Really cool stuff. It comes with cold shoe mounting. So everything that you need to get going. The app is amazing. I love it. All right, so that wraps up all the specs and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's go over a few more things of how I could see another photographer or videographer using an on-camera, even though I'm not gonna use an on-camera LED light. First, don't put the light on your camera, put it on a stand. This is gonna give way more control over how the light looks. Backlighting for subjects, hair light, etc. It's great for interviews, it's great for product videos, and another great application is to get rid of shadows on backgrounds or spaces. There's times where like you get all this great lighting, but there's just a shadow that you can't get rid of. Placing a diffused light like this next to the subject is gonna help eliminate those shadows, especially like for product type videos or photos for that matter. And let me just give you a little bit of a tour of the app itself. The main page, the first tab gives you the control over your bicolor lights. So your warmth, the cool temperatures, your brightness. The next tab over gives you some control over the colors. And that's where you can change the different hues, green, blue, red, pink, yellow, whatever you feel fit. It also has the dimmer and also saturation. You also get scenes to where you have paparazzi, party, TV, cop car, lightning, candle, bad bulb, and disco. So this is the kind of light that I like to have in my kit. I'll bring it with me in my bag. I'll just have it with me just in case I need some extra light. I need some creative colors. Maybe use some of those scenes for whatever project is going on. It's bright enough for more closer subjects than anything that's in a distance, or you can use it as an accent light. You can put it into a lamp in the background, all kinds of creative kind of temperature settings that you can use with these kind of lights. So again, a link down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. And until then, I hope you have a great day.